Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And um, you may have noticed things are a little bit different here. Um, good news, I got my inscribers working. They all do what they're supposed to do now. Um, that's just a holding chest, and I can't look in it because there's a. Actually, I could put in backward stairs. No, but you can't do not so goodium stairs. So at least I don't think you can. So there's that. Um, but yes, I did a lot of looking. Not so. No, it's GU, isn't it? Um, no, no stairs. I might. What I might do is put a cable anchor, and we could put a facade there or something. But um. But yeah, did a lot of searching, a lot of Google foo, and I finally. Um, found a tutorial by somebody called Flanks. I haven't seen and he hasn't posted anything for a couple of years, but he did a lot of um, inscriber automation and he explains it step by step. And one thing that he mentions that the other tutorials, more recent tutorials that I found didn't mention is that you have to be very specific with the sides. Um, Pilpo mentioned this in one of his videos, but it was like a, not a throwaway comment, but it was just kind of like, remember it's, you know, it's to do with sides. So that got me thinking and it got me looking. I went and narrowed it down a bit, but basically you're using Xnet to import all the different things. Uh, Let's see, can we go in to the back? You can just about see there's, um, we've got the connectors, that's the power, the power thing there. Uh, do we have any facades here? No, it's all, oh, there's a cable facade. There you go. You're gonna let me go through, not really. But, um, Basically, it's just using. Uh, let's go here and I've got everything hooked up in the back. With advanced connectors, all the connectors are named, so I know which one is which. But then when you go in as, and everything comes in via the ME interface as well. Right. But when you go in and you name all your connectors and stuff then i had to look at the um the compass directions compass directions is that correct that doesn't sound right but yeah if you look at the compass directions on the mini map you can see which way they're facing so everything comes in on the west side and goes out on the east side so when you're doing your inserts and extraction, so for example, the calculation um, inscriber inserts on the west and extracts on the west? No, that should be on the east. It works though. I don't know why it's inserted and extracted on the same side, but oh, there you go. Maybe I should have looked at the channel name. That's in, oh, that's the materials. And that one, I don't know what that one is, but they they extract where they're supposed to. It works because I have tried it. They have gone and made a liar of myself now. These are down and up because you need them to go in a specific slot. West, east. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, it works because I have tried it. Um, He explains it brilliantly. And, um, like I say, he makes, he, he explains it exactly why you have to, you know, do the sidedness and all that kind of stuff. And it's just, I was so happy I got it to work, basically. So there's that. Um, I want to put in, there's no stairs. I don't know. The thing is, you don't really need to look in this chest. It's just like a holding chest. Maybe I should switch it out. I might switch it out for um, one of the other chests, like a not so goodium chest or something. 
oh now that i've gone there you can see all the connectors in the back so there's no there's no import buses and export buses and or anything everything's done with all the advanced connectors because the advanced connectors you can specify which side if you had the normal connectors you would have to put cables on the side that you're importing on the sides that you're importing and exporting from so this just makes it a little bit tidier and we've got our um power here and that's providing power to all the inscribers as well uh let's switch out this chest is there anything in this uh oh is my backpack switched on it is turn off the magnet put you here that connector should still retain yep retained its name and we'll just take these out right so so that was that and if we put this back on here you can still access the chest not like a vanilla chest which is awesome um yeah so that was that was that i got that sorted um i did some oh this comes out into my into my mining tunnel which i didn't realize until i found a uh what do you call those things? An Enderman. Just getting on my nerves. I couldn't work out where it was. And then I realised it was in the mining tunnel. Right. Dolphin, we want you too because, you know. Nope. Let's go and check the box. I haven't checked this for a while. It might be full. I don't know. Oh, wow. We have loads. So there's that. Um, I did a few. I completed a few more side quests as well, because. Um, why not? Because the thing is, they're too small to be completed on camera. Where is? Where am I going? I can't believe I went that far, that high up. There were two small to be completed on camera so i just went ahead and completed them anyway i need to put this back together or make it pretty so that you can i can come in i don't know so i did that uh what did i do i did this one i almost finished i went ahead and did all of the furnaces oh i made some i was killing blazes and actually that was kind of fun let me show you what i did um these away ink sacks want that i want a do i have the blaze doll all right so we want that and what i did was take my mob f oh grief take my mob farm and light it up so that nothing spawns in there i thought i would have to stand here and you know put in blazes and then quickly put down the trap door and so on but it turns out i can reach everything from down here so i just have to click on the on the on the barrel i have let's see if we can see from this side can't really see I'll explain it in a second. There you go, one shot. And we usually get a uh, blaze rod. But basically, I have a fluid duct going from an advanced tank to a stone barrel. I can click on the stone barrel with the blazing doll. It will produce a blaze. And as you saw, I can access everything from here so by the so even if i come right here and it can see me because i can one shot it with the atomic disassembler it doesn't matter because it's already dead all right so that is that's pretty fun although it kind of takes all the drama out of it i kind of miss you know fighting with blazes in the nether so <laughs> i never thought i'd say that but you know it's a bit tame 
very cheesy but that's that's how i got the blaze rods for um for this reward reward not the reward um i can't think of what it is for this quest so i left the i left the last two actually getting the rainbow plating the rainbow furnace and the rainbow core so we can do that now quickly before we get into today's episode because i thought might as well do it so you can get uh the top tier furnace and it requires eight rainbow plating and a rainbow core you can obtain eight rainbow plating by combining six furnaces in a crafting table so let's see which ones we have rainbow plating because i did make some all right so we need an emerald furnace which two we have we have the obsidian and the crystal all right it's a it's a pity that ae2 doesn't make the things when it's missing because it knows it can craft it furnace because i went and told it to craft it i want one of each of you um we want an emerald no hold on we want a diamond two diamonds two golden and the emerald so we got the emerald did i tell it to craft no i probably used the iron one One iron, one diamond, one gold, um, netherite, no heat transmitter, netherite furnace, obsidian furnace, it did say six, right? Two, four, six. How do you do the rainbow core? Oh, we need dyes, yeah, and two netherite furnaces, okay. got that and what dyes do we need for the rainbow core red orange yellow blue purple and magenta all right we can have i think we already have some of these dyes dye so we have pink the orange we need some white need some blue some red and we need some yellow we've got orange red yellow orange magenta that blue and red that's purple how do you get magenta that purple and white nope and that's where the dye thing down in the down in the basement will come in very handy. Ah, uh, magenta. Can we make magenta? Oh yes, we can. There you go. Magenta. So it was red, red, yellow, magenta. What other colours do we need? Would help if I could spell rain red, orange, yellow, blue, purple, magenta. All right, and we have purple, red, red, yellow, orange, blue, purple, magenta. Okay, so how do you make stained glass? Neither do that or do this, All right. A red, enter, uh, purple, and blue. Oh, he didn't want the keys on ages. Why did I see panes? I want glass. <laughs> all right, let's do that all over again, shall we? All right, magenta, 
yellow, orange, magenta, yellow, orange, red, purple. One, two, three, four. What are we missing? Orange, yellow, magenta. That right. Red. We're missing the red and blue. Okay. Now, rainbow core. Which one are we missing? Oh, we wanted green. How did I not see green? Um, that you need cactus. Do we not have any cactus? We must have cactus somewhere. Uh, no, we need to go upstairs again. Cactus fruit. And these, maybe? Yes. I knew we had cactus somewhere. Alright, so to get uh, cactus, we need to melt this. It will give us cactus paste. And then you smelt it again. And it gives you cactus. Green. No. You don't smelt it again. You put it in your inventory. And it gives you cactus green. Yes. Or well, not cactus green, but green dye. Look at me actually knowing how to do vanilla stuff. Right. Uh, green. Blah. Right. So let's put these back all in. And we want another netherite furnace. There. Did I? Oh, yes, I did. Next. What are we missing? blaze rods all right we can do that i think there's some in the in this thing yeah this was supposed to be quick it's not quick all right here you go next start are you doing what you're doing it's do uh no why are we why is it waiting all right, let's see what's the hold up. So why is it? Well, that's annoying. And you can't see what it's stuck on. All right, let's do this again. All right, furnace. All right, uh, diamond. Emeralds, netherite, I don't know what it was stuck on, that's quite bizarre, alright so the rainbow furnace, we need the rainbow core which is that, and then rainbow furnace. Right, let's just put you down. Okay, so it has all of that stuff. How how fast? Hold on, there was the wireless thing, wasn't it? Wireless heat receiver. Wireless heat transmitter. Uh link with a wireless heat receiver. Provide this block with forge energy. Okay, link with a wireless heat receiver, done by placing the receiver in the wireless heat transmitter. Ah, oh, I should have slept. Alright, let's go and sleep. Looks like it's still night time. But we have a little bit of time left. There you go. I knew I should have slept when it was rain when I saw it was raining and I thought now we'll leave it. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Um all right, should we put this then in a wall somewhere? Oh, you know what? We could oh. we'll probably put it 
right here. Not really going to help, is it? Right there. And you put that there. Okay. So then if we put in... Oh my days, that is fast. <laughs> that is fast. Wow, I was not expecting that. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Why have you not... I was not expecting that. All right, I'm gonna have to hook this up to the system. So if I want to smelt stuff, I can use this to smelt stuff as well. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that here for now. And let's do, we get more rainbow plating, which is awesome. And another rainbow core, which means we can make another rainbow furnace. Right, so, um, slaughterhouse. Let's do a couple of these. Let's at least, what's this? The laser drills, right, hands off slaughtering. I am recording in real time. I don't have a lot of time today. So I am recording in real time. I'm trying not to do loads of recording. Usually I do like about an hour worth of recording and um, I'm not doing that. I can't do that today. So we're not really going to get very far into this. I just want to start it. So the Smob Slaughter Factory. We can, we can make the, the device today. And then I'm going to do all of this offline. So at least then I can have a mob farm set up. Um, what's this? Cloning mobs, duplicating mobs. At least make the mob slaughter factory, the mob, um, the mob imprisonment tool. And then I can set, I can look at some, um, mob farms and set up a decent mob farm so let's do this hands off slaughtering we want a mob slaughter factory uh, mob slaughter factory pretty machine frame which we have okay plastic we need two i have a right let's see if we can craft how many can we craft can we get two stacks mm, no we can't get two stacks. Can we get a stack? Yes, we can. That's working. Actually, you know what else we can do? Uh, dry. Dry rubber. Can we get a stack of you? No crafting CPUs available. Okay. We'll just have to do it individually. Then stick that in here. And we've got a whole stack. That is freaking amazing. I love that. Right, so you're going, you're doing that. Right, mob slaughter factory. So we want an axe. We want a sword. Or do we want two of those? I think you wanted two of those. What else do we need? Two axes, two swords. And yes, I know it's sword, but you know. Mob Slaughter Factory. No rewards. Can operate through solid blocks as long as the appropriate range add-ons are used. Okay. So where should we put the Mob Slaughter Factory? Should we put it downstairs or should we put it upstairs? Hmm. That's... I don't know. Uh, it doesn't always work. I feel like we should put it outside. Like right on the edge here. I, will sh I feel we should put it here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. Because I want to put the wither, the wither stuff here as well. But I'm going to extend. Let's see. Let's have a look. If I extend out to about here. Yeah, 
And then this will be our mob mob killing area. Have a look, this is a bit more. Yeah, this will be our mob killing area. Yep, that's a bit that's that's a big enough space, I think. And then we can set up the mob slaughter factory. Only thing is if we want to put the mob drops back into the system then I'm going to have to find a way to link it and a way that doesn't involve um, having lots of uh, what you call it oh God, I'm at a loss for words what is wrong with me a way that doesn't involve lots of cabling that's the only other thing let's fix that I don't like it when there's stuff missing there you go so yeah that's the only thing how are we going to link it with our system and not not have lots of cabling but that could be something else that i would need to research off camera but this is going to be our, our mob area i think we can have the wither killer in a corner mob farm actually if we put the mob farm out here next to our other mobs yep i'm liking that idea even better See, it's good having you guys because then i can you know talk things out and it makes sense if i put the mob farm here right and then next to our other mobs and then have this lot on a little closed loop because I'll have to make the animal stuff as well. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, sky slime because I did the, the alloys. I did the alloys. Where is that alloy, 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 alloy? There it is. Did all the alloys, and the only one that gave me a lot of trouble was sky sky slime steel because it took me a while to work out how i got slime because it's not automatic it's not immediately apparent from jei but if you make green slime dirt from smelting where's my tinkers thing if you smelt um green blocks of green slime and then put a block of dirt into the block thing technical terms i know i had put dirt in here and smelted slime turn on the pipe and it would automatically put them in drop them in here and you sieve them and once you sieve the green slime then it would put everything together you got a backpack i want a backpack so bad And it's a musical backpack. Damn it. What happened to the one-shot thing? It's supposed to one-shot. See how rubbish I am? Right. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm... <laughs> oh, dear me. That was pathetic. Ah. <sighs> Buy slime. Put slime... In your tinker's um, smeltery, put dirt in the block table, pour the slime over it, it gives you sky slime. You sieve it, you can get um, blue sky, blue, blue slime saplings, sky slime saplings, and that's how I got that. All right? So I got those to make the slime steel. That was pathetic. That really was. I, I, I have to hang my head in shame. I will go and hide under the covers and cry because that was totally, totally pathetic. But anyway, on that really pathetic note, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode where I plan to redeem myself and have lots of brilliant stuff. So, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.